This week on The Wire, more good news for landlords, spike in Aussie's love of land, and sales rates continue to rise. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video if it's your first time tuning in. Don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Let's get into our top story this week. So more good news for landlords. So in good news for landlords, vacancy rates are falling and rents are increasing in most markets across the nation. Fresh research by SQM Research shows that at 2.1%, the national vacancy average is tighter than the December 2019 rate of 2.5% and slightly lower than a year ago when it was 2.2%. The figures suggest most major markets have a shortage of homes available for renting. Now, all cities recorded decreases in vacancy rates in January, except Hobart, which remained steady at 0.6%, which was the lowest of all capital cities. Adelaide at 1% and Canberra at 1.4% have very tight rental markets, while Perth, Brisbane and Melbourne all have vacancy rates a little over 2%. Darwin recorded the highest vacancy rate at 3.2%, followed by Sydney at 3.1%. Now over the past 12 months, the capital city average for house rents has increased 1.6%, and in this time, rents for both houses and units have increased in Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide and Hobart. However, rent for both houses and units in Sydney and Darwin remain lower than they were a year ago. And now for our next story, spike in Aussie's love of land. So the number of Australians buying land has risen sharply as buyers take advantage of affordability. Land sales rose almost 50% across the nation in the six months to the end of September 2019 quarter. And this is according to the latest data from the Housing Industry Association. More than 10,000 lots sold during the period was much higher than the March 2019 quarter when sales were the lowest on record. Now the uptake has yet to have an impact on land prices, though CoreLogic's Eliza Owens says it may not be long until demand drives prices higher. Demand for land and dwellings has rebounded strongly since June last year, which is also reflected in a 6.7% rebound in the national dwelling values over the past seven months, she says. The rebound in the housing market follows the federal election result, a relaxation in lending standards, tax cuts and reductions in interest rates. The federal government's first home buyers lending scheme is contributing to a rise in the number of market entrants with more than half of the 10,000 slots already filled. Now guys, for our final story of the week, sales rates continue to rise. So auction clearance rates continue to rise with the latest national average of 79% being well above the strike rate of 51% for the same period last year, and this is according to CoreLogic. Melbourne cleared 79% of its 717 auctions, Sydney 578 properties were auctioned and 80% sold. Canberra had the highest success rate of 90%, although there are only 90, uh, 40, uh, 48 properties under the hammer. Of the 104 properties in Brisbane, 62% were cleared, and a, which was a big improvement on the 29% a year ago. Adelaide offloaded 75% of the 82 properties under auction, while a good roll of 90% was also achieved in Geelong. Now, results in regional areas were promising, including the Central Coast 55%, the Hunter Region 69%, and Gold Coast 52%. The clearance rates of the combined capital cities were around 75% in 2016 and 17 before they began to fall, bottoming at around about 40% in December 2018. Apart from the dip over the Christmas holiday season, they've been rising over the past year. That's good news, guys. So, well, that's the top stories for this week. Now, remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. If you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks, guys.